Does anybody want to guess what game we're going to be reviewing? No, that's wrong! F*** you! This game is a pretty well-known game. A lot of people claim it to be the best fighting game for any system ever made. I'll, I'll, I'll be the judge of that. Okay, it's time for the big reveal. I'm gonna zoom in the camera because I don't have any friends. Hey, you guys wanna be my friend? That's right, guys. Today we're gonna be reviewing Shaq Fu for the Stig of Genesis. Let's do this. Shaq Fu is a game where you play as Shaquille O'Neal, all-star athlete and martial arts expert? Yeah, this is a fighting game starring Shaq, and he's been tasked with rescuing a child named Nezu from the evil mummy Setra and his band of merry f**kheads from the second realm. The plot is a little convoluted, but we'll get into that in just one second. One. Okay, so here goes. Shaq is walking around Tokyo just checking out the sights on the day of his all-star charity game when he stumbles across a small kung fu dojo with an old man inside. Yeah, he also stumbles across these f***ing Pepsi logos. Go buy a Pepsi, you f***. Go spend your money on a f***ing Pepsi. So then the old man is like, oh, you are the one from the stars, I presume. I never thought I'd live to see the day. And then Shaq is all like, I'm an all-star if that's what you mean. It doesn't sound like that's what he meant, Shaquille. But then Shaq just invites him to his all-star charity game because this guy definitely looks like a f***ing basketball fan. And then the old guy's all like, Oh no, I am too old to be fighting, but you must hurry if you are to save the boy Nezu. No time to explain. Go through this portal and find Nezu. Where's the f***ing portal? He just moved a curtain. Y you can like see the shit behind it. There's nothing back there, old man. You're crazy. And then it just cuts to a mini map with a mini shack, and the china shop is just like jutting out of the ground. Why couldn't they animate a little portal? Look, I could even do that. Oh no, I'm shagging, I'm falling in through portal, no. All right, so here we are in the second realm, which you would only know if you read the backstory. Here we go. So Setra was like this evil sorcerer dude from a place called the Second World, but he wanted to take over the First World, aka Earth, so his plan was to destroy the Pharaoh of Egypt and usurp his throne because that would somehow make him more powerful for some reason. So he turned his shadow into a monster that went to the First World and killed the Pharaoh, and then Set disguised himself as the Pharaoh, but then the Pharaoh's son Ahmet was all like, Hey, you're not my dad, you're an evil f and then he went into the desert or something and found a coven of wizards and banished Set and turned him into a mummy, but then Beast resurrected him somehow, and now they need to find a relative of Ahmet and use him in an ancient ritual that will unbanish Set. Set. So Beast goes to the first world and kidnaps this kid Nezu who is a relative of Ahmet and now Shaq has to rescue him before Set does a magic thing and comes back to Earth to be the pharaoh to take over America. There's lizard people! There's lizard people! Obama is a lizard! So now it's time to find Nezu and Shaq's idea of finding and rescuing the boy is just walking around and beating the shit out of everyone he sees. The interaction between the characters in this game is f***ing... I, I don't even- Shaq just basically goes around insulting these guys and then beating them up. I'm gonna rock your chair, Grandpa. Whoa, hey Shaq, you don't even know who this guy is. You call yourself Diesel, ha ha ha. You're one to talk, Shaquille O'Neal. Hey, didn't anyone ever tell Shaq that you catch more flies with honey than a swift kick to the f***ing head? But the way the characters respond to Shaq is just as ridiculous. Be careful, Prince, you might hurt yourself with those swords. My swords will make you think twice about that comment. Oh, did he hurt your sword's feelings? Tell me where the boy Nezu is before I beat it out of you. Yeah, right, I'll whisper it in your ear after I slap you silly. Okay, one, that's not a very intimidating response. And two, how are you gonna f***ing whisper when you ain't got no lips? Also, I'm pretty sure the artist just drew Tupac scolding the hobgoblin. Anyways, you remember that old guy that Shaq just started sh with for no reason? Yeah, it turns out that's Nezu's grandpa and he was just testing Shaq's abilities or whatever. Why does Shaq have to beat the living f*** out of him in order for him to allow Shaq to attempt to rescue his grandson? Hey, why not just go with Shaq and watch him face his next opponent, you stupid old f***? Shaq just wasted valuable energy kicking your wrinkly old ass. He could have spent that energy kicking other people's asses. Whatever, let's move on. Jumping. Holy f***. Why is the jumping in this game so full of f***? 
Well, let me tell you kids, if you want to jump in any direction, you're instantly committing to flying a hundred million feet in the air and launching yourself forward like a f***ing grasshopper. Oh, young grasshopper, you must always commit fully to a jump and be sure to fly over your opponent's head like a dumb f***. Everyone in this game jumps so far and so high that jumping becomes a strategy in and of itself. You have to make sure you're at the right jumping distance from your enemy at all times because if you're too close, you'll jump right over them. And 90% of the time, you're too close. Just being in combat range is difficult and you gotta constantly pay attention to what your enemies are doing. Sometimes you'll jump at an enemy and like they'll jump at you and you guys like jump right past each other. I found myself almost exclusively using regular attacks to defeat enemies, but the enemies use a lot of ranged attacks and the way you defend against ranged attacks is different than the way you defend against physical attacks. You block punches and kicks by pressing down and back, but you block energy and projectile attacks by using a force shield. We'll call this the Shaquille. And the Shaquille is really helpful against ranged attacks, but it doesn't do anything to protect you from punches or kicks, so you've got to switch between the two to defend yourself properly. The combat takes some getting used to as well, because the attacks aren't immediate, there's like a slight delay. You can do low kicks and quick punches that are pretty fast, but attacks like the sweep kick and the inferno kick both have a really noticeable delay, but it could be intentional. I mean, the guys who designed the animation for this game also made flashback, and there's a lot of delay and movement in that game too, but it's meant to make the character feel more real, like he has some weight to him. And I'm not sure, but I think that's what they were going for in this game as well. One thing I noticed though, is that there aren't really any combos in this game, like, at all. I mean, you can kind of like, switch between some attacks and like, the combat will seem a little faster, but nothing feels like a combo. You're not stringing attacks together, and I did find that kind of weird. But honestly, I feel like the combat in this game isn't as bad as people make it out to be. Have any of you f***ing people ever played balls? Whoa. Oh, okay. The fighting isn't the worst. Not to mention the graphics are great, I mean, they aren't the best, but the animation on the characters is smooth like a baby's butt. And the stages are cool too, they even have a day and night cycle. Cool! There are quite a few characters to play as in dual mode. I just stuck to the story though, cause after all we gotta find out if Shaq will rescue Nezu and save the day. Okay, so you may be asking yourselves, hey why the f*** is Shaq a master of the martial arts all of a sudden? Well, I read his bio, and apparently he's the founder of Shikido, which is a lethal form of martial arts. Why is he called Shikido? It sounds like if you like took Shaq and ground him up into a little rolled taco, and then you put him in the frozen food section. And what is with people just inserting Shaq's name into the titles of things? Shaq Fu, Shaquido, Shaq Hurricane. I mean, I get Soda Shaq, but why the f does it say Shaq is on the side? Who put this here? I want, I want you to explain yourself. What if they made a game like this starring Dennis Rodman? Would they call it Dennis Fu? If you can just insert a celebrity's name into a game, why not make a game like this with Tupac? You could call it Shakur Fu. Hail Mary. Anyways, I'm sure they went with Shaq because of his popularity at the time. I still think it's a really weird concept for a game, but a really f***ing fast hedgehog fighting an evil scientist is okay. Yup, we're all okay with that for some reason. Probably because it's f***ing awesome. So once you've gone through the majority of Set's fighters and beaten Nezu into submission, take that you little f***er that I'm supposed to be rescuing, your last two opponents are Beast and Set. The cat lady mentioned an army, but all you have to do is beat the crap out of Beast, and he's way too easy. He looks all scary and he screams like a crazy, but if you dodge his screech attack and stay away from those claws, he's no challenge at all. Oh, look how sad he is. Also, this would probably be a good time to mention the crazy f***ed up whatever the f face that is. I'm pretty sure that's not a face you'd make after winning a fight. I'm a hypocrite. Hand over the boy, mummy man, or I'll unravel you. Wait, hand over the... You mean the boy you just kicked the shit out of? I thought you broke Set's control over him. How would he still have the boy? Maybe Shaq took too many blows to the head or something. Why is Set Raw wearing ancient spiked football pads? What the f*** is going on? Alright guys, let's do this. <laughs> Yeah. Congratulations. 
Oh, wait, there's more. The game has a little cinematic ending where... Um... Oh. Oh. Whoa. So I guess Shaq brings Nezu home to this old man. Hey, I guess he forgot about Nezu's grandpa or something. Oh well, he's old and Shaq probably killed him when he beat the crap out of him. Sorry I'm late, boys. Let's just say I had to fight some traffic to get here. <laughs> Good excuse, Shaq. Too bad this guy's probably like, Hey, Shaq, who the f*** are those guys and why are they dressed like that? Oh, hey, look, it's Feast. Hey, I guess Shaq didn't need to hide his little secret after all. Look at all these guys standing around. They, they don't even care. Wait. It all makes sense now. No one is paying attention to Beast because this whole thing, this whole entire thing just took place in Shaq's head. He's a, he's a wackaloon. He's one beer short of a picnic basket. He's a lizard, people. He's Obama's a lizard. Okay, so here's my honest opinion. The graphics and animation in this game are great, but the gameplay just doesn't quite feel right. There aren't any combos and the jumping is crazy. The music, on the other hand, it, it really isn't that bad. In fact, some of the songs are pretty catchy. The story is all over the place. It's totally insane and goofy, and all in all, it's awesome. I mean, it is full of plot holes, but what do you expect from a game called Shaq Fu? Look, I know this game is well known as one of the worst fighting games of all time, but I actually kind of like it. No, please. No. I give it three salty nerds out of five. Now subscribe for more old school video game reviews. No crafters, please. And if you think I'm a dickhole and I didn't do a good job reviewing this game, well then subscribe anyways because you fu- And now it's time for Comments with Peter, the part of the show where Peter reads your stupid fucking comments. Comments with Peter has been cancelled. Peter is sick. <coughs> hey everybody, welcome to Comments with Peter. I'm your host, Comments with Peter. Sorry if I don't seem very enthusiastic, I got the sniffles and I've been feeling a little under the weather, so let's read some comments. You're a pretty cool faggot. Okay. Can you review Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, mate? No, but I can review Black Ops 2. Can we send you games, you gronk? Well, I don't have a P.O. box at the moment, but if I get one, I'll be sure to let you guys know. You are a wonderful human being and your reviews are entertaining. Also, clean your f***ing microwave out. You ever have a fart that's trapped in your stomach for the whole day because you're out with friends and people? Then when the day is set and done, you release that fart? That's how I feel when I watch your videos. I don't hold my farts in. You f***ing rock. Holy chiropractors, Peter, you're still making these lovely reviews? Plus, I think a crafter is in love with me. What do? Sora, that love is forbidden. I love these. I love you. Peter, if a fish and a lizard had a baby, what would it look like? It'd probably look like this. Aw, it's cute. I farted three times during the entire video. Oh, if you didn't shit your pants, I didn't do my job. You are one ugly fat cunt. Holy sh! Why don't you come over to my face and say that? Do you even wear pants during your reviews? 